hello guys what's up welcome to my tutorial on google apps in this tutorial we'll talk about uh, further settings on google groups so let's go into the groups module then i'll go into a particular group and uh, then into its access settings it will redirect me to the groups.google.com module now i should be inside access permissions we'll talk about uh, moderation permissions in this tutorial we have already uh, talked about uh, uh, basic permissions posting permissions and access permissions so you should be quite clear uh, what uh, these permissions mean and how to deal with them uh, so uh, here in moderation permissions uh, you can basically define different types of uh, permissions which can be modulated by you like someone is trying to join the group then uh, the request will come to you and uh, it will be in the moderation queue whenever you approve or reject a member will be added to the group similarly someone can post uh, you can uh, uh, allow uh, banning of users uh, deletion of uh, posts everything to be moderated on your wish then in moderation permissions you see add members so users can add members directly to the group uh, who can add you uh, add the members you can define that here uh, generally managers and owners should be able to add uh, uh, but you can also moderate it uh, you can define uh, uh, custom roles which we talked uh, in last tutorial then you can approve uh, members y who can approve the members you can define that here i'll put managers also uh, approve messages then ban users generally moderation settings i'll uh, suggest you to keep uh, the permissions restricted to the owners and managers only there are various other settings like uh, edit others posts uh, edit own posts uh, users should not be allowed to do these things because then you will lose control over the group and uh, it m may get you into uh, some messy situations invite members lock topics mark duplicate sometimes uh, topics can be repeated by various users so what you can do is you can mark a duplicate uh, if you know that the topic was posted previously i'll only go over the important uh, options here because uh, everything is user friendly it's written here what these options mean and uh, as you know permissions means you have to define who can uh, do this particular action in the group then uh, move topics in users can move topic in the into the forum move topic out of the forum uh, modify roles generally owners should only have uh, this privilege to modify the different roles these this is the role section we already uh, discussed about how you can create roles how you can delete roles how you can add users to particular roles then you have sticky topic option uh, like a particular topic which is very uh, important or which is very informative can be made sticky to the group so uh, it will be the first thread of the group whenever someone is visiting to the group uh, should see that uh, thread so generally if you have any forum instructions or if you have any rules that are to be followed in the forum or group then you should uh, keep that uh, topic as sticky this is about what a uh, sticky topics is but and this is irrelevant here because you have to uh, give permission to the owner or manager as we are talking in uh, this moderation settings moderation permissions then unassigned topic mark favorite reply on any topic sometimes uh, there can be multiple replies to a particular question so uh, whatever be the best answer uh, you can always uh, give permissions to some people who can choose that i'll give permissions to all members because it can be a unanimous decision so it uh, these settings will always depend upon your organizational policies and how you want to maintain this particular group then after moderating these settings you can click on save so these settings will have uh, been saved in the group it doesn't take uh, time to replicate to the group uh, 
do not forget to subscribe and like to my tutorial if you have any questions you can always uh, post in comments and we'll be back with a reply soon thanks